Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. So your phone isn't just a gadget, it's your style, it's your assistant, it's your security. So in this video, I'm showing you seven powerful tips and tricks to customize, secure, and level up your Samsung phone like never before. So from color matching icons to answering calls without touching the screen, we're covering it all. So let's get into it. And hey, if you enjoy useful Samsung tips like this, do me a favor, like this video, share it with your friends, Subscribe for more awesome content and drop a comment letting me know your favorite trick. And that's how the channel grows and it seriously keeps me motivated to bring you more. So let's begin. So the first one is how to match your icons with your wallpaper with color palettes. So with Samsung's color palette feature, you can now sync your app icons to match the theme of your wallpaper. So let me show you how to do this. So here you need to go ahead and open up settings. Next, you want to go ahead and scroll down and find wallpaper and style. Now from here you have color palette. So you can choose a palette based on your colors from your wallpaper. So here you can go ahead and choose all these different color palettes. You can go ahead and choose your very own as well. As you can see, this will affect all this here. So you can see the different color palettes you'll apply. You can even apply the palette to your app icons. Now, once you're happy, you can go ahead and tap on apply. And now when you press home, you'll see that color palette has been applied to match your wallpaper. So this creates a seamless aesthetic across your home screen. It makes your device looks personalized and professional, and it updates dynamically with the new wallpapers. The second feature is how to get a different colored glass icon without a third party icon pack. So the new theme pack update in Samsung's Good Lock lets you create a glass style icon in custom colors. So let me show you how to do this. So here you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you need to go ahead and open up the theme park module. So this is right here. Here you need to make sure that's been updated to the latest version. So here you need to go ahead and make sure it's on version 1.1.01.25. If you're not on that version, then you won't get this feature. I have a link to the APK of the updated theme park. So if you're stuck, you can go ahead and download that APK from the description down below and install it to your phone. Once installed, go ahead and open the theme park module. Now here, go ahead and tap on icon, then tap on create new. And now here, this is what your icons will look like. If you scroll down, you'll see shape and effects. Go ahead and choose your shape. Next, you want to go ahead and choose effects. And now here you'll see all the available effects. So from here, you need to go ahead and choose the glass effect. And now here you can go ahead and customize your edge. So if you want a bigger edge of the glass, if you want more light, and if you want the angle at a different position. So I'll just make this obvious for you guys so that you guys can see exactly on this video. So I'll just go ahead and choose that. Now, the next thing which you want to choose is your glass color. So here you can go ahead and customize your glass color. So you can make it yellow, you can make it blue, red, black, any color you like. So let's go ahead and make this a blue color. You can go ahead and choose the transparency as well. So if you want a light blue or really dark blue, go ahead and choose that. Saturation. And once you're happy with that, tap on done. Okay. And now, as you can see, you have a blue colored glass. Next, you can go ahead and choose the glow. So this will basically give you a glow on that glass effect. Now, once you're happy with this effect here, you can go ahead and tap on save, give it a name, blue glass. Okay. Let that save. Now find blue glass from here and then tap on apply. Now, if you press home, you see that your glass has been applied. So you can see, you can see the icons are transparent as well. So it's a unique premium icon appearance without third party launchers. So it's fully customizable, shades and transparency. It gives your home screen a futuristic and a fresh look. The third feature is how to turn on voice captioning. So voice captioning is a new feature that live transcribes audio from media calls and even voice notes. Since it's still rolling out, you can grab the APK from the description box down below and install it manually. So this works with YouTube, Netflix, and many more. So let me give you a live demo of how this works, and then I'll show you how to install it. 
So here we can go ahead and turn this feature on from the quick panel menu. And here in the icons, you need to go ahead and find voice captioning. Go ahead and turn this feature on. This will basically bring a box and we'll start to listen. So here you can go ahead and set to phone audio only, phone audio and the mic as well, or mic only. You can go ahead and run this for YouTube, Netflix, or any video streaming devices, applications, or you can go ahead and run this in lectures or in podcasts to have a live transcribe of what is being said. So we'll go ahead and choose phone audio only right now. You can go ahead and take a screenshot. You can download the script. You can even change the language. So here we'll go ahead and change this, say for example, let's say Hindi for now. And we want to go ahead and translate it into English. We want to go ahead and also make it show translation, tap done. So now here I'll go ahead and open up YouTube. And now here I'll go ahead and open up a series, a Hindi series on YouTube. We'll go ahead and press play. So now whatever is being said is being lines transcribed here down below. So the person is basically speaking in Hindi in this video and we're getting an English translation of everything that is being said. Now you can go ahead and do this vice versa. So you can go ahead and choose English and you can go ahead and set it to another language. So let's just say Spanish, tap done. Go ahead and play a video. And now as you can see, it's translating from English to Spanish. Now once that's done, you can press close. This will now ask you if you wanna save the transcribed audio to Word. So if you wanna do that, press save. And then you've got all this audio here, which it has transcribed. You can go ahead and save the original audio as well, or you can go ahead and tap on generate summary, or you can save it as a Word file. So you can go ahead and choose from all of these options. So it's great for accessibility or any noisy environments. It's helpful for watching media silently, and it works system-wide, not just in apps. The fourth feature is, how to get the dark version of your Samsung icons. So do you want your icons to blend in with your dark wallpaper or the night mode? Well, you can basically get the dark version of Samsung icons without downloading anything. So no third party app is required. All you need is good lock app and the theme park module. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the good lock app. In the good lock app, we'll go ahead and open up the theme park module. Now here you need to go ahead and make sure your theme park module has been updated to the latest version, then you can get this feature. So in order to get this feature, you need to have this version installed 1.1.01.25. Now for those of you who don't have this version, don't worry, I have a link in the description down below, so you can go ahead and download that APK. Now once you have it, go ahead and open it. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and tap on icons, then tap on create new, and here we'll go ahead and tap on effects on the bottom and we'll choose the glass icon. And now here, as you can see, we've got three settings which we can play around with, edge, light, and angle. So to create the dark version of your icon, you wanna go ahead and move all this to the minimum on the left-hand side. So go ahead and just move it to the minimum on the left-hand side. Next, you wanna go ahead and tap on glass. And here we wanna go ahead and choose a dark color, so something black. Press okay. Now once that's done, you wanna go ahead and press save, and then go ahead and give it a name, black glass. Now once that's done, find black glass and then apply it. Now when we go ahead and press home, you'll see that all of your icons have changed into black glass. Now of course you will see some issues where some of the icons are not appearing in black glass. Now the easiest way to fix that is to go back to your theme park, tap on the black glass, tap on edit, and now we'll go ahead and choose the shape and we'll go ahead and choose this shape here. So as you can see, once I've selected that shape, you see some icons appear back again. Now you can go ahead and tap back. Now you can go ahead and tap on save and then go ahead and give it a name. You cannot overwrite it, so go ahead and, uh, so go ahead and add a number to it. So black glass one. And then go ahead and apply that. So tap on it and press apply. And now once you do that, you'll see that most of your icons have reappeared. However, they won't apply the dark effect on it. But majority of the icons have the dark version applied. So this basically reduces eye strain at night. It matches your AMO LED dark wallpapers, and it looks cleaner and more battery efficient. The fifth feature is how to turn on USB debugging to connect your phone to a PC or Mac. So USB debugging is essential when you want to transfer files use ADB or control your phone from your computer. So have you ever been in a situation where you connected your phone to your Mac or PC and you want to maybe do screen mirroring? 
And that particular app is basically asking you to turn on USB debugging. So let me show you where you can find the settings. So here you need to go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find about phone. So here we'll basically turn on the developer option. This is a hidden menu, which can only be unlocked once you do the following step, which I'm going to show you. So go into about phone, scroll down, software information. Now find the bill number and tap multiple times until you see this message here saying developer mode has been enabled. I think you need to go ahead and tap at least seven times in order to get that developer mode option appear. Now, once that is turned on, go back. You'll see developer option here. Now you want to go ahead and tap on it. Now from here, you want to make sure it's turned on and then you want to go ahead and scroll down and find USB debugging. So here, debug mode when USB is connected, go ahead and turn this feature on. So this will now ask you if you want to allow USB debugging. So USB debugging is intended for development use only. So if you use it to copy data between your computer and device, it's okay. You can install apps on your device without notification and you can also read data logs. Press OK. And now you can go ahead and connect your phone to your PC and Mac without any issues. So this allows advanced PC to phone connectivity. It's essential for developers and tinkerers, and it enables a custom backup, screen mirroring, and many more features. The sixth feature is how to set USB to charging only by default. So if you want to protect your device from unwanted data access, you can basically set it to charging only mode when plugged in. So as an example here, let's say you took this phone to your friend's house and over there, you're basically looking for a charging cable. He does not have a charging cable. However, he has a cable which is connected from his PC or MacBook, a USB-C cable. Now, the only way to charge your phone is basically plugging that USB-C cable into your phone. However, do note, once you connect the phone to a PC or Mac, he or she will be able to see all your files, whatever is inside your Samsung. So if you want to prevent unauthorized data transfer or anyone to snoop into your data, you need to go ahead and turn on this feature where it only defaults to charging only. So let me show you how to do this. So here we need to go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find developer option. Now developer option can be enabled from the about phone. Tap on this, tap on software information, then tap on the bill number multiple times until you see developer mode has been enabled. Go back, find developer option. Now from here, you want to go ahead and find the USB configuration. So find default USB configuration. So there you go, default USB configuration. Tap on this, and here you need to go ahead and make sure it's charging phone only. So this setting will be applied when your phone is unlocked and connected to another device. So only connect to devices that you trust. So this basically prevents unauthorized data transfer. It's ideal when you're charging in public places or cars, and it adds a layer of protection against malware. And lastly, how you can answer your phone without touching it. So here is an example. If you're sleeping in bed and your phone is charging on the bedside table, however, you're really far from it and you get a call. You can basically use talk to Bixi and you can basically answer calls just by saying a command. So this is great when your hands are full or when you're far away from your phone. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So here, go ahead and find Bixby. From here, tap settings. Now you want to go ahead and scroll down and find talk to Bixby without waking up. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So when your phone alarm or timer rings, you can say relevant commands to Bixby without voice wake up. So for phone, you can say answer phone or reject calls. For alarms, you can say dismiss alarm, snooze. For timer, we can say dismiss timer or restart. So here we'll go ahead and show you an example. So here I'll show you a example to dismiss alarm. So first we'll go ahead and set an alarm. Let's go ahead and set an alarm in one minute. Now here I can go ahead and use the following command, dismiss alarm or snooze. Let's, let's wait for this alarm to ring. Dismiss alarm. And there you go, guys. So this is super convenient during workouts, cooking or driving. It enhances hands-free accessibility and it makes your phone truly smart. And there you have it. Seven awesome ways to boost your Samsung experience. 
So whether you're all about style, security, or smart features, there's something here for everyone. So if this helped you out, please like this video. It tells YouTube to show it to more people. Comment below with your favorite tip or any questions. I reply to everyone. Subscribe for more Samsung tips and share this with your techie friends or family. Your support motivates me to keep bringing these useful tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.